time ago. Dragon protected the valley, but was punished by heaven for his arrogance. He blamed us. Now, trapped in his icy prison, he plots to destroy us. Our only hope might be my pupil skunk. Fool, balancing the earths and the heavens with an old wise panda and a whole pack of regions. Fox, rabbit, pig, snake, and killer bees. Duck, crane, tiger, fighting off ninja monkeys and bad bulls. That evil dragon won't prevail over young skunk skills and that old stink tail. Defender of the valley from the dragon in the lake. Use your mind, body, and soul to fly as you meditate. The yin, the yang, the shadow boxing technique, the monkey flip tightens down. Skunk, fool! The arm of the double cross. Take that, ninja! Hey, what? Watch it, will you? Cut it out! You want to use your kung fu somewhere else? You're messing up my, uh, chi. Your chi? You don't even know what chi is. What was that? Sounded like ninja monkeys. I'll check it out. You guys stay here. Good plan. Yeah, we got it from here. For imitating dragon, or chugging on a frog, and cheating at ping pong, how do you plead? <coughs> Artistic license is no excuse. I hereby find you guilty of high treason. And so it falls on me to pronounce you guilty. You are cast out from the clan of the Ninja Monkeys. Ready! Speaks monkey, right? Really? Sure, I do. And dolphin, too. Okay. <laughs> he says hello. Did he say anything else? Bird, want to leave some rotten fruit for me? Little focus here. Okay. He also said something about breaking dragon's laws. Getting thrown out of the clan. This is great news! It, it is? Yeah! Hey, let's get him to join our side. Can't bring a ninja monkey home with you. They're not even housebroken. But now, his enemies are our enemies. That means we are now friends. N uh You lost me there, buddy. Don't worry about it. Let's clean him up. Now that I understand. <laughs> And wait till you meet Panda. He's gonna be so proud of me for bringing you over to our side. I'm so disappointed in you, Skunk, for bringing a monkey here. He is Dragon's spy. He can't be. I saw him pelted with fruit. Young Skunk, that's what Baboon wanted you to see. I didn't get tricked, Master Panda. We must never forget. Dragon is a master at the art of the double cross. We must not let him realize that we think he is a spy. First, we must find out if he is truly undercover. How about we just knock the truth out of him? <sighs> no, my young skunk. When dealing with this monkey, you too must also master the art of the double cross. Smile and wave, skunk. Smile and wave. Monkey, my new friend. Let me show you around. Give you the inside scoop on the valley. Rabbit is the wise one. He spends his days just meditating about the universe. Fight? No. Rabbit does not.
not believe in fighting. He is a peaceful, spiritual kind of guy. Now wait here. Hey, Rabbit! <sighs> what you doing? Sentry duty, Squirt. Been here all day. I'd give anything for some action. Hey, is that a monkey? Monkey? <laughs> monkey! Now that you've met Rabbit, you've got to meet Tiger. He's a great warrior. He even fought Dragon. Skunk! I thought you were a monkey! Funny you should mention that. Monkey, meet Tiger. He's our bravest warrior. Monkey! Tiger, this monkey joined our side. Good thing you told me. I might have done him some harm. Any enemy of Dragon is a friend of mine. <laughs> Did you ever hear about the time I fought Dragon? It was amazing! Is uh, that a spider? Well, <laughs> hit it! <laughs> Hold it. it! It's just a root. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Huh. Gotta go! Big warrior things to do somewhere else! Now I want you to meet the brains of the valley animals. I shouldn't even be telling you this, but uh, he's the one who called the Secret War Council tonight. Greetings, skunk. Don't move, skunk. You're wearing a monkey. But he's on our side, pig. A friend? Excellent! We'll be best in <laughs> I told him how smart you are, Pig. Who, me? Oh, yeah, me. I'm a genius. I know everything about nothing. Such as the way of the pig. Uh, know what I mean? Where's the monkey? Why, he's right here. Whoa, he's gone! My bestest friend in the whole world! Why? Get him! Ah, uh, too much snout! So, my young skunk, did you learn whether your monkey friend is a spy? Well, if he is a spy, then he's not cracking under pressure. Maybe we were wrong, Master Panda. It is possible. Dark clouds do not always give rain. <laughs> Report! What have you learned about the valley animals? <laughs> master! Master! It worked! <laughs> Ooh, ah, oh. Worked, Master! Of course! Those soft hearted fools couldn't resist a poor outcast monkey. What did you learn? Turns out, Rabbit is really a peaceful spirit. Tiger is one of their bravest warriors, and Pig is the real leader! <laughs> no, no! I didn't believe it either, sir! But, but, but listen to this. Tonight, the Valley Animals are holding a secret war council. Warriors, I have called this meeting to discuss a great and wonderful plan from our brilliant, enlightened leader, Master Pig! Master Pig? <gasps> Me? A plan? I thought we were talking about figs and... Uh, Pig has decided that a sunrise on... Was it 
Domino Hill, General Pig? It was? Was it? Yes, it was! Domino Hill, please, go on with my brilliant plan, Private Panda. Sir, yes, sir, of course. And that's where we will gather to attack Dragon! Now we're talking! Isn't Sunrise a little early? <laughs> Everybody wait! General Pig has just received new intelligence. There will be no battle tomorrow. What? No battle? Oh, that's nice. Don't worry, soldier. There will be other battles. Other glory, I promise. When did I get intelligence? This will be a glorious victory against the army of... Good morning, baboon. Huh? Hiya, monkey. We know your plans, Panda! Surrender now and... Oi! Where are your troops? My troop? He is right here. <laughs> <laughs> and what's even funnier, while you guys abandon your post to come here, Rabbit is leading a raid on your banana vault. Huh? Skunk, if you please. Hot spinach! Skunk! Whirly! Whippy! Continuing adventures of... If you're gonna be a superhero, first thing you need is a costume. Nah. Nope. I like that one. Already taken. Let's keep it simple. Perfect. Hey, where's the cape? Capes are out. This year's hot superhero accessory is headgear. Okay, maybe a little cape. Something over the shoulder, not too flashy. Don't go away. There's more Shack Ahead as Static Shock continues. There exists within the planet Earth a fantastic lost world. In this inner world, elite warriors ride huge spiders and bravely fight against evil. When the wicked rise, the word goes out, calling all spider riders. Cause we train and gain the skills Yup, we the ultimate The power that you think wins in the end We riding on, so now we're calling on Misery! 
All right, buggy, open wide! <laughs> Have you had enough? Hunter Steel, you and the Spider Riders will pay for this! Our victory is inevitable! But now, I'm taking my infectants and I'm going home! You know, I love to brag, but I'm too beat to blow my own horn. Oh, really? Oh, I'm so tired. I don't even think I have enough strength to eat my dinner tonight. You're so dramatic. Hey, I'm not just putting this on. Corona, he's right. Mm -hmm. You know I hate to take his side, but we've been in battle or on patrol every day for two weeks. Come to think about it, you are right. Really? A day off? Yes. Tomorrow, there will be no patrols or battles. It was Corona who brought it to my attention that we've been working you too hard, Hunter Steel. I'm sorry I snapped at you on the battlefield. Forgive me? Hey, don't sweat it. You're the best, Corona. Yeah, you too, Hunter Steel. Going to stay up late and sleep till noon. <laughs> Sounds like a waste of time. And that's exactly what I like about it. It's just a big old waste of time. You're the most foolish earthen I've ever met. Huh? If your day off is so precious, why are you spending it in bed? Shadow, it's very simple. I hardly ever get a day off. So when I do, I do what I want to do. Absolutely nothing. Oh no, he's starting to make sense to me. See you later, alligator! Uh, I mean, spider! because it's my day off. I'm gonna sleep all day, and then I'm gonna sleep all day. Hunter, time to wake up. What, Corona? Jeez, can't a guy slack off a little? Since it's your day off from patrols, I thought you might want to go for a little 10-kilometer run with me. 10 kilometers? Tell you what, Corona, you go ahead and I'll catch up with you. You mean to tell me? that you plan to spend the entire day in bed just sleeping? Uh, Corona, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Get out of bed, Hunter! No way! Oh. You're going for a run right now! Do you hear me? No, I'm not! You'll run and you'll like it! Finally gone. Now I'll be able to catch some Z's. Hmm. The sound you hear is me sleeping in. Ah! Hunter, you're still in bed? Igneous? You said this was my day off. Just from patrols. Take a day off from training. It will take you three days to recover. And you do not want that, believe me. You want consistency. That's what you want. Uh, actually, what I really, really want is sleep. See you tomorrow, Igneous. Hunter Steel, as your commanding officer, I am ordering you to get out of that bed. I'm sleeping. I can't hear you because I'm sleeping. <sighs> this is pathetic. When I was your age, I couldn't wait to train. I'd beg my teacher for more drills to do. Why is everyone busting my chops about sleeping? That is it! Now I'm going to sleep all day just on principle! Oh, but 
Am I bothering you, Hunter Steel? No, you're not bothering me. You want me to help you train? Yes! Hunter is taking a day off, and I'd love to use the time to work out with another spider. Sure, that sounds like a great idea. Then let's get started. Venus, time to train. But Corona, I thought you were going running with Hunter. He'd rather sleep than run. Come on, let's go. That's unfortunate. Shadow, do you mind if I take a rain check on that workout? Anytime, Venus. Anytime. So last night I had this very interesting dream that I need to talk about. I was swimming in this lake. Uh, Lily, I don't want to be rude, but I really need to get some sleep. Yes, of course you do. But in this dream, I was swimming in a lake, but not a normal lake. No, the sea. I give up. I'm never going to get any sleep. Hunter! Lily, what are you doing here? Morning, Hunter! Come out and play! Well, this is supposed to be my day off. Then let's play. Come on! Hooray! <laughs> oh, maybe I'm just dreaming this. Huh? Hey, Princess Sparkle! How about we play a game of hide-and-seek? And I'll be it! Mm-hmm. Lily, will you play with us? Play hide-and-seek? Mm-hmm! <laughs> All right, then. But be warned, I'm a pretty good hider. Oh, this'll be fun. Come on, Atarla, let's hide. Hooray! Hooray! <sighs> I'm sorry, Sparkle. But I just couldn't find you. <sighs> Finally, I can sleep! <laughs> Become party central. Doesn't anyone here understand the concept of a day off? <sighs> I shouldn't have stayed up so late. Uh, but that's what you do when you know that you're going to be able to sleep in, isn't it? <sighs> I wish I could find a quiet place where I could sleep the whole day away. I wish I could find a relaxing place filled with girls who actually liked me. Huh? Prince Lumen? Oh. Well, hello there, Hunter. I understand completely. It's tough when you want to relax, but they won't let you, isn't it? Yes, that's exactly right. I knew you'd get it. We are a lot alike. We both know how important it is to take time off. You want to relax and sleep away your day? I fully support your choice. Thank you, Prince Lumen. And I thought you were a dope. I've got an idea. Hunter, we can search together for the perfect day off paradise. Gee, that sounds like work. For a place where girls actually like me and where you can sleep like a baby, I think I'm willing to work a little bit. <laughs> Maybe you're right. That does sound pretty good. Hunter? Lumen? You're on! We'll, we'll find, find a perfect, perfect day off paradise, paradise together. together! Oh. Uh, Prince Lumen? Hunter, believe it or not, I've found our paradise. What? <laughs> I'll bet they'll be impressed I'm a prince. Thank you, Oracle, for this great miracle! Hey, girls! Wait for me! I'm really a fun huh? guy! Hey! Hold on! Lumen! Hi there! Do you know that I'm royalty? Paradise. But it doesn't help me get a nap. I'm ready, Venus! All right then, Corona.
again? Okay! They train together like true warriors, and my rider wants to sleep? Huh. Hmm? Flame! What's wrong? Is there trouble? Okay, not trouble. You want to train? With me? Wow. You don't talk much, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're on your own again, Hunter. Wish me luck. I hope you find a place to sleep the entire day away. See ya. Who wouldn't want to be ya? I'm all yours, girls. What about your friend? Uh, he's too tight. Uh, so much for Prince Lumen and the perfect day off paradise. I'll just have to find one myself. Before the whole day is wasted being awake. It's quiet here. Maybe I can find a place where no one will bother me. Who am I kidding? I'll never find a spot. Hmm? Hmm. Sleep, here I come! <laughs> Ha! Ah, you see, I'm too fast, even for you! Maybe not! Ah. Oh. You could lose some weight, Flame! At least Shadow knows the value of training. Not like his annoying partner. After Flame is done, I'd like to practice with Shadow. Huh? But why? Because I promised him I would. This is so perfect. It's soft, warm, and quiet. <sighs> I, I can finally sleep without anyone bugging me. Ah, oh, Hunter! Hmm? Are you kidding, Prince? I was just about to enjoy my nap. No time to nap. This is a serious affair. What's up? Invected attack? You, you can, can do it! it. Jump! Jump. Wow. Don't, you can. So the girls weren't very impressed? No. I really wanted them to like me but they didn't seem to understand my charm. I even told them I was prince and everything. So where are they now? Across the bridge. Well, that's your problem. <sighs> I'm going to sleep. Come on, Hunter Steel. What happened to our promise to stick together? Oh, I am overcome with sadness. Ignored by the girls I loved, my most trusted ally betrays me. My life is filled with endless loneliness. What a cruel world. Okay, okay, what do you want me to do? I knew I could count on you. We'll use this. It's very simple, really. Uh, what's that? It's your part. Let's dance. Ooh, Looking pants. good. This will work great. I look like a joke. Why am I wearing this anyway? Glad you asked. You play a fancy pants who annoys the girls. Then I save them from you. Lamest plan ever. Hunter, Hunter. Huh? You did promise to help me, didn't you? You gave me your word, didn't you? Don't you believe in honor and loyalty anymore? You can sleep right after. Uh, okay. I'll pretend to be annoying, but it won't be easy. <laughs> Hey there, how are you ladies doing? Huh? I'm a dancing machine. Hunter, who? I mean, I'm dancing Dan the Disco Man. Who wants to dance with me? Way to go, Hunter. Just remember what I wrote, so I can come and save the girls. What? what? <laughs> hey, I am an annoying dude. Got it? Hey, my thing. You should leave them alone. Oh, no! It's Prince Lumen, famous spider rider and cool guy. Huh. And don't forget, handsome. Help! I must flee! Thank you, Thank you Prince, Prince Lumen. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm so cool. Ha-ha! <laughs> My plan is perfect. There's no one more annoying than Hunter when he wants to be. Hi. I bet you'd like to dance. So far, so good, Hunter. Uh. Diving dragon! Yeah! Uh. <laughs> 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 ha! 
here just in time. We've been waiting for someone to practice our martial arts on. You're a perfect target. That's the kind of dancing we like best. Thanks for volunteering to be our practice dummy, Disco Dan. No, thanks. Help! Don't let him get away. This wasn't in the play. Move on! Normally I'd envy Hunter right now. But I'm sure he can handle this himself. Now that was a workout. Thank you for practicing with me, Flame. Uh, okay then. Man, you're really chatty. Well done, Shadow. Hey! Flame shows a lot of respect to train with you. You made an impressive team. Thank you, Venus. Corona and I are finished. Do you still want to practice with me, or are you too tired? Too tired? Never! Please, not the face! Hunter! Is something wrong, Shadow? No, it's nothing. Knowing Hunter, it's something ridiculous. I asked Venus to train, and that earthen is not going to ruin my day off. Help! Ah. Where's our practice dummy? Towards the waterfall. He's fast. We have a few more throws we want to try. Please, no more throws. My bruises have bruises on their bruises. You don't really have a choice, do you? There's nowhere left to run. Can't we talk this over? I was just doing this as a favor. Uh-oh. By the Oracle. Do you think he's OK? He's pretty tough. I'm sure he's still alive. People that annoying never seem to go away. Too bad. He was the perfect practice dummy. Yeah, I wanted to throw him off the cliff myself. <sighs> Thanks for saving me, Shadow. <sighs> I don't even want to know. Someday off this has been. I'll be glad to get back to fighting Invectives tomorrow. Whoa! 
out of here. Grab hold of something big! Something that will float! Oh no! Is the Korofan back from the dream plane already? Too soon! His energy was used up! Then what is that? You're a long way
away from Narum. My name is Eden, and I am Narumi. This is Strag and Tony. We're on a rescue mission. I am Halstead, a Nar wanderer. Climb aboard. Can we trust this guy? Know this. You are not suited for our cold Nar climate. It's your choice. In the freezing water... Or... Uh, is there enough room for all of us? See for yourself. Wow, lots of room. The cape is made from the fur of a Karul. It'll keep you warm. Don't you need it to stay warm? To the shore! Temperatures never rise above freezing in Nar. To survive in this ecosystem, every living thing has to adapt. Even our bodies have become tolerant of the cold. And where are you from? I'm from Earth. And how I got here, uh, yeah, that's a long story. You said you were here on a rescue mission? Yes. Our homeland is in danger and a friend is missing. It all began a few days ago. I didn't know it got this cold in the room. These icebergs are from the land of Nar, our northern neighbor. How did they get this far south? I don't know, but we will pay a heavy price if this continues. We live in a temperate ecosystem here. Our plants, animals, and people are accustomed to mild temperatures. A severe change to our ecosystem would be disastrous. The frigid temperatures are killing the plant life, which is the primary food source for marine animals. There's no food for the fish. Pretty soon there won't be any fish. It could wipe out the entire coast! It won't stop here. Colder water means a colder wind. The cold wind will move inland, carrying frigid rain with it. You mean it may actually snow here? Moist air and cold temperatures will create a snowfall that could drop Narum into a deep freeze. Can we melt those things? The intense heat required to melt the icebergs would boil the water. Warmer water would be just as devastating to Narum as a deep freeze. Delicately balanced ecosystems must not be tampered with. How do we stop them? I have to find out why they're in our waters before I can answer that, Strag. I can go with you. Not this time, Eden. I don't know what is out there. I must go to Nar myself. But what if Agram is behind this? You'll need help. I have been an adventurer for longer than I care to remember. If I need help, I will send for you. should have gone with him. When Orwin didn't return, we followed. Wow! It looks like the North Pole up here! Welcome to Nar. Come, we can talk inside. I can give each of you clothing to keep out the cold. Thank you. We need to begin our search for Orwin as quickly as possible. Yes, well, your search ends here. was frozen solid by an icy sting from a Jarmander, a dream creature from Nar. Two shadow magi cast a spell forcing the Jarmander to carry out their evil wishes. I was on the trail of a Ziavu. They are the most elusive snow beasts in all of Nar. <laughs> they are also the most coveted dream creatures because of the joy they bring the magi. Congratulations! Call on me anytime! Then, the Garadin arrived, with two Shadow Magi on its back. Korg and Zed? How many other troublemaking Shadow Magi do you know who ride around on a Garadin? Agram must have sent them. Do you think they've discovered the location of the Nar Dreamstone? It's not a Dreamstone they seek. Your friend Orwin uncovered their destructive plot. 
Is the sonic cannon ready? Ugh. The sooner we're finished with this rotten job, the sooner we can leave this awful place. The cold weather is making me miserable! Ah, uh, I couldn't tell. You seem just as miserable as you always do. Cover your ears! Garadan, cry out! Stop what you're doing, or I shall destroy you where you stand! Go back to your books, old man, or you shall be the one destroyed! If you continue releasing these icebergs, you will devastate all Moonlands! Exactly! And with the climate of the Moonlands turned inside out, the barrier to the core may be weakened as well. <laughs> The room will soon be burning in the fire of the dark heart. <laughs> I won't allow it! You'll have no say in the matter. Jarmander, arise! You will obey my dark command and unleash an icy sting. <laughs> No! Uh, uh. I was on a ridge below them and couldn't help your friend. I brought him back here when the Shadow Magi continued their search for the Dark Heart. What is the Dark Heart? It feeds our icy land and allows plants and food to grow in sub zero conditions. Why would Korg and Zed be after it? If unleashed, the fiery power of the Dark Heart could destroy the land of Nar. And just like the ice coming to Narum, a change in the climate here would change the climate in all of the Moonlands. We have to stop them. What can we do for Orwin? Stand back! Wow! What are those? Nar blast gloves. I've done what I can to warm your friend from the outside. His inner body temperature needs to rise. He would want us to finish what he started. Yeah, he would. Um, can we borrow a few things? The Karuls have agreed to help us in our quest. It's their home as well. We should start looking where you last saw Corgan Zed. Did you hear that? Ugh, more like felt it. It's coming from just beyond the ridge. The sooner we're off this trail, the better. How deep down is the Dark Heart buried? No one knows for sure. Its center of power is buried deep beneath the surface, but its effects are felt far and wide. Is it possible to harness a small amount of the Dark Heart's power and capture it? What are you thinking, Eden? If Orwin was frozen by a great cold, then perhaps a great power can reheat his internal body temperature. <gasps> that sounded a lot closer. Too close. Avalanche! Move! We have to get off this ridge! that the ice is now collapsing on its own. If I never come back here again, it will be too, uh, too, too, uh, soon. <laughs> and I 
thought it couldn't get any colder. We have to get moving. Orwin's running out of time. <laughs> Huh? That thing is the Dark Heart? No, not the center of its power, but the beginning of our trail. We'll continue to cut open the frozen Earth until we reach the Dark Heart. Well, if it isn't the dim-witted duo! <laughs> I'll meet you below. Go in and cry. Charmander, arise and unleash an icy sting! Get down! We can't keep this up, Tony! Sooner or later, it's going to hit us! <gasps> Look! The Dark Heart! We can't lose track of it! It's Orwin's only hope! You get to the Dark Heart! I'll hold off the Jarmander! A little Nar payback! Gloves. <sighs> I, I, I don't think I'll need them. <sighs> Thank you. I am no longer under the Shadow Magi's control. You are a worthy Magi, and I apologize for any pain I have caused you. It wasn't your fault. It was their corrupting spell. How can I settle my debt to you? You don't owe me anything. Oh, but I do. Call on me any time. Whoa. Did you get all that you needed? I hope so. Welcome back. You followed me. Of course. You would have come for me. Where are Tony and Strag? Getting rid of the icebergs in the room. You're not trying to melt them, are you? That will only lower the temperature of the water around Narum, destroying our ecosystem and all its living things. Orwin, calm down. They're not melting the icebergs, and they're not letting them freeze our water either. They're returning them to Nar, where they belong.
crazy girl. Don't throw that toast out the window. But it's burnt, Baba. It's bad. Just because it looks bad don't mean it is bad. See, you can't even tell it was burnt. Now where's that lazy behind super? These pipes are leaking the ugliest water I ever seen. Ugh, smells bad too. How's that toast, Kevin? I thought it was a chocolate donut. No, I'm busy right now. You got a little spot on your tie, sweetheart. Better go change, baby. And Damie, take out the trash. But, but that's Kevin's job. Yes, but he can't risk getting dirty. Mama's big boy got an after-school job interview. Why do I have to take out the dang garbage? Anyone can get a stupid job interview. Must be my lucky day. Morning, sir. How's work? Want to see what I wrote? Not right now, son. I've got to talk to your mama. This is still good. Just brush off the goop. Cat hair. Crusty scrambled egg. Well, maybe not the eggs. They're probably still good, too. Nah. You know, I'm always saying waste not, want not. But for some reason, no one ever seemed to listen to me around here. Tell me about it. Okay, class. Before I hand out your report cards, why don't you turn in your homework assignments? Didn't do it. Couldn't do it. Meant to do it. Almost did it. I can't believe none of you did your homework. All you had to do was write about your favorite role model. I was going to do mine on Michael Jordan. I met him once. He wanted me to go pro and run the point for the Bulls. What happened, Marvin? I had to go to the store for my mother. <laughs> yeah, right. What? What? You saying you don't believe me? Hey, you better step off slick or I'll get my big brother blue after you. <laughs> then your name won't be more money anymore. It'll be small change, right, Tooth? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, man, that's cold. <laughs> you act like you did your homework. What, me? You're bugging. I'm bad, Ross. Yeah, well, if you're so bad, Wayne Head, how come you got such good grades on your report car? <laughs> yeah, you're so bad. How come you're not hanging with us for tonight's big fight? Yo, man, if I'm not in by five, the general's gonna whoop the line from my behind. Ah, oh, your dad's not so tough. I'd have Ron Hamburger tougher than your daddy. Ah, that's cold. <laughs> hey, yo, wait, hey. You gonna let him chump you like that? Woo, that's my back, mama. Hey, look. Can I help it if my dad would never be the man your mama is? Ooh, Ooh, I, I like, like the way. <laughs> hey, that's my mama, too. No, your dad is such a loser. The only thing he frightens is the mirror. I said it's all right. Oh, a loser, huh? But your mama is a gainer. Fact is, if she gets any bigger, she gonna need her own zip code. 
Okay, melon head. No more, my mama. Don't touch that girl. How'd you do that? Mama, guess what? Mackie Bot Siobhan! Please, Damie, I'm tired. And whatever it is, don't be waking your father. Newsflash! I got the job. My baby, I knew you could do it. Don't just stand there. Go wake your daddy up. Hmm. Guess your name has to be Kevin getting your respect around here. Hey, don't be slamming no doors up in here. Why do I even try to be good when nobody cares? So, little brother attempts sneak attack with most deadly flying report card. Prepare to meet your doom. He ha! He ha! He! Like a dang donkey. Uh-oh. Attitude alert. Oh, gee. Sorry, Mr. Perfect. I'll work on the attitude of mine. Yo, Damie. Why don't you go kiss up to mom and dad? I'm not buying it. Hey, I'll come back when you get that wedgie out of your shorts. Ugh. Hey, unnecessary roughness. Huh? Well, look at me. I was just angry. Yeah, who taught you good sportsmanship, kid? Tanya Harding? I'll tell you, Kevin would have never taken a cheap shot like that. Kevin would never do this. Kevin would never do that. Well, I'm not Kevin, and I never will be. You got that straight, mister. You're not fit to clean his cleats. You know, you're right. It's time for me to carve my own niche around here. Let Kevin be Mr. Perfect. I'll be Brother Bad. brothers and they're bros. And if you can't pick your brother, at least you can pick your bros. Yeah, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick, you can't pick your brother's nose. Something like that. Brother trouble, huh? Say no more, say no more. You with your real bros now. And we're there for you, bro. Know what I mean? Hey, fight start. Man, it's just a lame preliminary belt. Oh well, how long can it last? Wait, head. Two hours of preliminary fights and not one knockout. Unless you count the ring girl. <laughs> Uh-oh. Turn the hat up. And 
Go where? Go home, sucker! We got curfews! But, but I thought you said you were there for me. Yeah, there, not here. Don't worry, Wayne Hat. I won't run off on you like those lowly, shameful cowards. Besides, my dad comes home late on Thursday nights. Today's Wednesday, isn't it? <laughs> Roz? Roz? <laughs> Oh well, at least I get to see the fight. Hey, you! Up on the roof! Stay that down! I'm gonna throw you off! What's a fetus, Eddie? It's something that's a lot smarter than you. <gasps> ah. You know, if you're as quick as your mouth is, we can use you. Yeah, we're uh, playing a little trick on one of our friends. Hey, Francis, why don't you and the bad boys stay here, watch that nobody spoils our little surprise? Oh, yeah, right, Eddie. Hey, what's this? All that? It's nothing. Just some homework. Which I didn't hand in. Oh, homework, huh? My brother, my role model. My brother is cool because... That's all wrong. My brother's no role model. Fact is, he's uncool. Yep, bad is cool. Bad is where it's at. Well... You do got a bad walk, but if you're really bad, you should have one of these. A tattoo? <laughs> yeah, a nice big one. Maybe it's right on your chest, huh? Something real scary. If I ever catch you a wall, you will be sorry. Uh, I just remembered I have some better things to do. Hey, 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 hold it, kid. If you want to prove you're bad, I'll let you in on a little secret. Me and Eddie, we're robbing this place, and we decided to let you help out. Keep your 
your eyes open, kid, okay? Looking all over for you. Kevin? Oh man, am I glad to see you? I think it went that way. Alright. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised you wouldn't even noticed I was gone. Hey, I don't know what's going on with you, but whatever it is, I'm not the bad guy. Of course not. You're Mr. Perfect. And when you bring me home, it's just gonna prove it. I'm not here to bust you. Didn't the general send you to find me? No. Dad's at work and Mom's asleep. Then why are you here? Because I'm your brother. Now come on. Let's see if you're as good at sneaking in as you are at sneaking out. Yo, bro, I'm the best. <laughs> oh, you're the best, huh? Sure am. Yeah, we'll see. I'm the best. So you say. <laughs> Wayne hit. Oh man, I missed breakfast again. Now that would be a shame. I mean, how's a boy gonna keep up the grades you get if he doesn't eat? Just look at this report card my big boy got. Not even Kevin brought home grades like this. Maybe it's time to promote you, little soldier. Let you do some of the things we let Kevin do. Here, take out the trash. And now, the adventures of... Smash up! All right, Shaq, ready for some bang baby action? I'm ready. Remember, if they take a swipe at you, what do you do? Hit them with a joke. Knocks them out every time. Got it. Let's do it. Oh, I see how it is. Two on one. Who's your little sidekick, Static? You know what? You're like school on a holiday. No class. Hey, I think I'm gonna bust the gun. <laughs> Shaq, watch out! He's gonna blow! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
Holy stink bomb, it's evil bang baby gas. Will Shaq be vaporized? Will his super senses survive? Or will this powerful puff prove too potent for our hero? Find out when the adventure continues with more Static Shaq ahead on Kids. My Bell Quest does what every other quest does. This little runt. I get to boss him around when we're in a mess. This Prince Nestor is a royal best. Save the world! Roll the quest! You may be in large, but I'm in charge. Save the world! Roll the quest! Without me, kid, you wouldn't get too far. I hate theme songs. something here even better than water. Pus bugs. Mm, mm, mm. A little salty, but a tasty treat. Oh, mm. uh, open your mouth. We can share. Hey, sure. Thanks, but uh, no thanks. Yeah, it's hard to tell how they look when they're in your mouth, but I'm thinking it's your loss. We need to find mm. some water. Oh. Yes. Wait, go! <laughs> 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 Don't what? Don't be such a baby. It's just pond water. That's not water. Ah, <laughs> uh, those are not mine. <sighs> the pond is alive. It's some kind of creature. <sighs> We've been swimming in spit. Ew, 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 yuck! An inside-out beast. Haven't seen one of them in quite a while. Ravana and the run. What's about prayer? Anyone who eats pus bugs can take care of himself. Ah! Where are we? Up to our ankles and taste buds. Huh? Yes. Ah! Let's do it. Rouster special. for 100 years. I can finally reach that spot back there. Woohoo! Yeah, I know what it's like to have a scratch you can't itch. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Time to put a lid on this creep. <laughs> this inside-out pile bucket needs to get some shut-eyes. Sweet dreams, you big ugly thing, you. A little warning would have been nice. Oh, you mean like wait, don't? Nerve twitch. <laughs> West is so not gonna be happy about that. Aw, uh, he's not happy about anything. I can't believe we were swimming in the stomach juices of that, that inside out beast. Gonna hurl. <laughs> well, I would say that was a bit of a delayed reaction. Ugh, I guess the shock wore off. Oh, yeah. I want to make it through this pass before nightfall. Albert, find Quest and bring him to us. Then use the smell of Nesta's dirty socks to help you locate us. <laughs> Hey, you didn't even ask. Would you have preferred I used your boxer shorts? I might have noticed those were missing. Wait. 
lead us to water. Desert of the Sea and Cacti. They'll have water in them. Follow me! As Prince, I have a natural instinct for navigating and superior leadership skills that will save us. This place is too weird. That's not good. <gasps> Somehow I don't think we're gonna find any water here. Ah, maybe not, but there's sure to be some juicy grubs under those bones. Uh, let's see if there's water further in. Wait, where in Odyssea are we? Into the past of memories worst where you walk upon the path to sorrow. What's that mean? The path of sorrow is the path to the past. Oh, Way's trying to say we can only leave by facing our worst memories. Hey, what's with the fog? When fog and memory connect backwards is the direction of our quest. We need to get out of here fast. Wait, back into the dagger until it's safe. I feel strange. What's happening? Oh no, it's happening already. Nesta, fight it, lad, fight it. Ah, nice to see they waited for us. Also couldn't read. Albert, it looks like it's up to me again. Go take a rest in the Shady Grove. And Albert, it's okay to lose the socks now. Good boy, Albert. Now, how to get into the Cavern of Sorrow without getting trapped in the haze? What's going on? Hey, Princey! A Hertz Donut? What's a Hertz Donut? Ow! Hertz Donut! <laughs> now oh. entertain me! <clears throat> I saw that lame dance routine last time! Show me something new! Now! <sighs> oh, that still looks like dancing to me! I'm Little Bo Peep, I've lost my sheep, and don't know where to find them. <laughs> uh, we'll see who's laughing tomorrow. The cherry float as you requested. You, bully, come with us. But my name's Billy! What do I do? Billying without a permit. I mean... Bullying. Uh, whatever. Take him away. A permit? I didn't know. And now you do. Take Bully away. Billy? Whatever. Bye-bye, Billy. How much longer? Oh, I'd say 20 more years, give or take a week. But my parents get upset when I'm not home by 7. Not to worry. This is your new home. And, oh, yes, your parents have already found a new son. What? <laughs> but uh, I didn't mean... Well, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I'm safe at this height out of the haze, but the runt's got to be down there somewhere. I don't know what happened. One minute the jewels were in my pocket, the next they were gone. Ah, don't worry, sir. When we catch the thief, he will be severely <laughs> punished. Hey, buddy! How's the missus? Who are you? Oh, sorry. I thought you were a friend. Stop there! Thief! What's going on? I remember when this was a good neighborhood. Oh, what's all the commotion at the arena? <laughs> Hey, kid, why are you crying? They say my dad's a jewel thief and he'll have to fight in the championship of pain. Hey, kid, there's something you should know. <laughs> uh, crime doesn't pay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Got to fight it. Put her down and walk away. Please. 
Princess. Oh, no! How could you? He was my husband. My father hated him because he looked different. Excellent work, Gatling. Could you imagine him as a son-in-law? I, I didn't know. If you'd given me time to explain. But no, why stop and think? You had to rush to my rescue and ruin my life. No, I was just trying to help. What have I done? I apologize. Please, forgive me. Amphibious, Elasticus, Amphibious, Elasticus, Amphibious, Elasticus! Did you see that? That stranger saved our Nestor single-handedly. <laughs> we appear to have a visitor. One I'm certain won't be with us long. Soon my grandson will be joining me. Together we will rule all of Odyssea. He says he doesn't remember who he is. Are you foolish enough to believe him? Hey, I forget stuff all the time. Yeah, in one ear, out the other. He's an exhibitionist running around in his birthday suit. I saved your butts. My butt, as you so eloquently put it, was not in need of saving. Yeah, I guess it's because it's big enough to take care of itself. <laughs> I can't believe he went there. I love this guy. No, oh, I'm afraid the queen hasn't been the same since her father became Shadow Seed and turned to the dark side. My king, is it wise to speak so openly in front of a stranger? Quest saved my son, and as a reward, I grant him the greatest gift of all. A pony? Better. I dub thee Quest Nestor's nanny for life. <laughs> But your highness, I... I don't deserve such an honor. I'm royalty, and you have to accept my gifts, and that is that. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. Wow, nanny for life. That's a sweet gig. Hey, didn't you want that for a while, General Logan? Huh? Nanny for life? Logan? Huh? 
didn't you? Huh? I devoted my life to the royal family, and this is how I am treated. I should be the one named Nanny. The feeding machine is one of my finest inventions. And look, it fits you like a glove. Oh, it sounds like our favorite prince needs to be changed. Shadow Seed has captured some of our citizens and taken them prisoner. We are in need of your assistance. Yes, finally! And don't forget Princey. Remember, your duty is to protect him at all times. Will no one save us? It's the king! And I've brought some friends with me. Don't have time to feed you now. No, I'm not changing you either. The prince is a spirited lad. Perhaps you could settle him with a lullaby. I am not musical. Oh, as your king, I command you to sing. Lullaby and good night. Let's have a good fight. Seek your foe, kick their butts, and remember to fight. <laughs> for being so tardy to the mix, but we managed to locate Mullox. Shadow Seed's lair, a dark living castle. This must be the colorful warrior nanny I've heard so much about. Yes, Sir Gatling. Quest, this is Gatling, my captain of the guards. Oh, I hear you're as good with a bottle as you are with a good sword. And your diaper skills are legendary across the land. <laughs> I owe you one, Runt. If it is Quest the king wants, he can have him. I am done here. General Ogan, I was expecting you. Give me the power to destroy Quest, and I will pledge to you my eternal allegiance, Lord Shadow Seed. Hmm. Will you be willing to do some cooking and light cleaning? Anything within reason, my lord, but I need Tuesday nights off to pillage and plunder with the boys. <laughs> he won't stop. Hmm, maybe something to eat? I just fed him. I meant for me. I'm starving. Man, I hope no one walks in right now. Come on, you can help me mix more formula. Ooh, can I have what's left over? Yeah, but don't expect me to burp you. <laughs> That's okay, I can handle that myself. <laughs> that wasn't so hard. Yeah, well, maybe next time you should help a little more. Oh, my sweet mother of pearl! I have joined Shadow Seed, and now so has the prince. Now, how do I turn this off? We gotta rescue the runt. I'll alert the guards. No, we'll do it as a small raiding party. I don't want the queen to find out. Let's go get Gatlin. Do we have to wear these costumes? These growl skins stink. That, uh, might actually be me. Comedian. Every group has one. <laughs> uh, I don't get these things. Oh, no, 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 he's doing it all wrong. It's left, then right. You are a very strange griffin. <laughs> General Ogan, run me another bath. <laughs> Shh! 
Maybe he's hungry. Crap, throw me down a bottle of milk. Stat. <laughs> Sorry, Quest. I think we're all out. Uh, I know, I know. Make a funny face. It always works on me. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! He said funny, not terrifying. Swell, if it isn't the nanny and his maids. So, at last we meet for the last time. We never met a first time. Uh-oh. Ah! Uh. Ogan, here's what you've been waiting for. Okay. Let's do it. Uh. Rip him to pieces! Uh. Don't let him get the drinks! Lost, Shadow Seed. Flagellus has won you this round quest, but not the battle. One day we will meet again for the very last time. I hate long goodbyes. What happened? It appears as though we're back in the Royal Kingdom. Now you stop crying. Sounds like the prince needs to be changed. Uh, he's not the only one. <laughs> oh, boy. We won't say a thing. What the queen doesn't know won't hurt. Oh, no. Because of the reckless behavior that you've displayed since you got here, Nestor fell into the hands of Shadow Seed. But the runt was hungry. Silence! You must pay for your crimes. I demand your head and any other parts of you that can be chopped off. Oh, <laughs> isn't that a little severe? Oh, let's have a vote. I say banishment. Uh, 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 uh. It's up to you, <laughs> Captain Gatling. I choose... Banishment. I'm afraid your fighting days are over, my friend. Hey, think of it as a second chance to follow your dreams. When I was a youth, I wanted to be a ballerina. Quest, <laughs> you're back. You kept mumbling about your fighting days being over. Is that true? Never. My past is my past. But I've still got a quest to finish and a royal family to save. You know, it's funny, but I uh, suddenly got this craving for milk. Oh, yeah, me too. Forget it. I'm out of that business. Charge back, back. The genius sisters use him like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. But the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme genes in an air breathing shark. Mega action game control, the skating in the park. A feral booster, bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a laugh of a boy named Johnny Test. Nice use of photonic discharge, and I appreciate the cool decals. I'll give your laser a B plus. Class outside is totally awesome, Professor Slopsink. Yeah, it's a totally perfect day to get graded on our latest projects. I detest warm summery days. They totally make my undies bunch. Hydraulic exoskeleton, familiar but effective, B minus. Jetpack, retro but still stylish, B. What the graviton is this? It's my quantum chilochino machine. Have some. Uh, are you a mega student? No, I'm the coffee guy. But I'm also a part-time genius. I'd hardly call a silly coffee blender genius. 
Now let's see some truly ingenious inventions, like, um... Bongo! Bad surf talk for help! We can't steer! Let's do it again! Sorry, Professor, but we needed our brother's help to demonstrate our super cool project. It's a self-wave generating surfboard. It's like surfing without the surf. The perfect invention for summertime fun. There's already too much fun in the world. But it's total genius. A plus. You call that genius? Fools! You haven't begun to grasp the power of my coffee-based technology. Hello, Earth to lowly coffee guy? Don't quit your day job. Uh, I'll try some of your coffee technology. I'll give you all drinks, frozen coffee drinks, for free! <laughs> Can I get whipped cream on that? Uh, maybe I'll save this for later. What's in those drinks? It looks like they've all come down with a nasty case of... The Brain Freezer! Pork Belly's newest and greatest super villain! <laughs> oh, chill out, Brain Freezer. There's no need to go all evil on us. No, it is you who will chill out for good! Hey, she was just asking you to be cool. No, you be cool. Forever! <laughs> and now, to steal these inventions for my own, to take over Pork Belly, and then take over the world! Hey, I've got an idea. Run! I mean, sir! I'm totally getting the hang of this thing. That's right, run! I mean, sir, away! But you haven't heard the last of... The Brain Freezer! Oh, yeah! Now head to the girls' lab. Maybe there's something there we can use to stop that crazy coffee guy. Copy that. Look, there's Scoots, the Turbo Action Backpack, the Zip Ray, and the Nacho Cheese Accelerator. Everything we need to melt the Brain Freezer! Next lock, and it'll take a genius to crack this combination. A genius, huh? If it isn't the young test boy, to what do I owe this unwanted intrusion? We need your help. There's a new evil genius in Pork Belly, and we've got to stop him. Now try asking me another question. Like, why should I care? We need to know how to de-encrypt a cybernetic silicon gel time lock. Oh. Well, why don't you get your beautiful, yet distantly cold sister to do it for you? Oh, because the brain freezer froze her. What? I'll be right there. Darn that transporter! Hang on, my other leg will be here any second. But we gotta get into the vault now! I said I'm waiting for my missing leg. Ah! Okay! Lead the way. So how do we get it open? A computerized code breaker? A hypohydro power drill? <laughs> I think I have something a little more sophisticated than that. Dynamite. Uh, uh, okay, so I don't. Fire in the hole! We totally have enough here to whip Brain Freezer's caffeinated butt. And if we don't, I took the liberty of grabbing this before I left my secret lair. A firecracker? A molecular firecracker? which disintegrates all inorganic matter within its loud yet <laughs> fun popping audio range. How does it work? Oh, here, I'll show you. You could have just told us, you know. Okay, time for plan B. What's plan B? I have no idea, but we've got to find a way to give the brain freezer a taste of his own medicine. Wait, that's it. I hate it when he says that. We just force feed the brain freezer his own chilachino, which you save for later, and we freeze him. You know, I have been working on something kind of 
cool and evil back at my lab that just might help. <laughs> Relax. Our legs will be here in a second. Yeah, yeah that'll, that'll work. work. Get her your nice icy coffee drinks. Get them while they're nice and icy. Hey, who are you? We're the new icy coffee guys. How about the nice mocha latte, you freezer you? Well, wreaking vengeance did leave me parched. But why don't we all have a drink? Eh? Okay, boss. Uh... Don't worry, Dookie. These are non-freezing coffees. Cinnamon. I want cinnamon. <gasps> Uh, um, I'm lactose intolerant. Take this one. But his has sprinkles, so I want this one. Uh, I licked that cup already. Uh, how about this one? Uh, this one. Uh, get this, this one. one. Uh, I want this one. What about this, this one? Uh, 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 try that. I lost track. But I didn't. Okay, great. Drink up, boss. Ha! <laughs> In your you're totally brain frozen. Am I really? Oops, uh, I'm a goner. Time for you to join your sisters and your hairy friend on ice! <laughs> no one freezes my sweet Susan or Johnny because, well, he's the only one who'll talk to me and understands my complexities. And where were you? I got lost! Anyone for a frozen tree ta? <laughs> Get it? Tree ta! <laughs> ah! Johnny! Quickly, give me something cool to say! Tell him coffee is served, but say it top! Coffee is served! No, oh, no, wait, no. Coffee is served! No, no. That's still not it. How do I say it? Coffee is served. What he said. No. No! And he calls himself a villain. <laughs> Pathetic. We did it! Now all we have to do is unfreeze my sisters and Dookie and the other geniuses. Well, I always find that a nice hot cup of tea can take the chill off. Give it up. I can't believe you guys saved us. Ooh. What are you doing? The only reward that I require is a smooch from my sweet Susan. No way. True, I have newfound respect for you, but my kisses are not for sale! Don't I get any reward for saving all your lives? I can think of one. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Bongo! <laughs> but uh, uh, how, how do you steer this thing? Lean left! No, your other left. Let's go get some coffee. Hot, hot coffee. <laughs> Let's go! Hello, snowstorm, and goodbye, school day. Woo! Uh oh. Hey! The weatherman said massive snow and massive school closings. And now I say it looks like it's off to school, kids. That massive snowstorm I predicted passed north of Pork Belly and instead headed our way is an extreme heat wave. <laughs> heat wave? It's winter. I'm sure you'll get that one wrong just like you got the snowstorm wrong. And a heat wave is a great time to enjoy the cool taste of red gush. Feel the crush of the gush. Protective snow gear. So hot. Ugh. It's winter time, and I should be snowboarding and not having to do a ton of homework. What are you gonna do? It's not like you can magically make it snow. Hey, guys. No, but my sisters can. Ah, ah, it is I, Zidzrar! 
are king of them all, people. We are here to invade the Earth, and we cannot be stopped thanks to our special sunblocker mole glasses. Now with rhinestones. Now prepare to be invaded! Cool sunglasses, let me see. Bright light, retreat, retreat! Dookie, don't I have the smartest and most beautiful sisters in the world? Yes, you do, Johnny. In fact, I think they're... The answer is no. Why are you saying no? We haven't even asked for anything. You're right. We shouldn't be so quick to judge. Thanks for the compliment. Have a nice day. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Please, 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 please! Will you make it snow? No. And all the begging in the world, Johnny, will not get us to shoot water vapor into the air to shift atmospheric patterns in order to create snow and pork belly. Got it? Hmm. Fear not, my friend, who puts food in my belly and scratches me behind my ears, because they've put a challenge on the table, and I am the king of begging. Please, 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 please! No! Please, 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 please! No! Please, 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 please! No! Please, 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 please! Okay, okay, we'll give you one snowstorm. Just please, please, no more begging. Instant snow-making machine. Snow! It's gonna take a while for the snow to get here, Johnny. Johnny! Eventually, they will get tired and fall asleep. It's snowing! We have returned to invade the Earth with new protective sunglasses that cannot be removed! <laughs> Retreat! Again! Man, that was one awesome snow day! I gotta have another. Forget it, Johnny. There's no way Susan and Mary will let you use the snow machine again. You're right. So we won't ask them. <laughs> hey, isn't that Gil looking up here and waving? Gil? Next door? Or was that my perfect snow gill? Snow days roll! Well, that is the last time we fall for the old snow gill trick. Definitely. But it is a great likeness. Ah, snow gill. Looks like Pork Belly got hit with another freaky wave of unpredicted snow, and the kids are enjoying themselves by leisurely sled riding. <laughs> we have returned again. Okay, I need just one more snow day, and then it's back to school, and then I'll do all my homework. Yeah, but there's absolutely no way Susan and Mary will fall for the old snow gill trick again. Hey, isn't that gill waving again? What's he doing? Taking off his shirt and flexing his muscles? Whoa, check out those abs. Johnny Test, this is the last time you will make it snow. If you say so. Johnny, how many times did you hit that button? I don't know, why? We are now in day 30 of the freaky Park Belly Marathon snowstorm. Okay, the bad news is we've been trapped in our house for like a month. But the good news is I still don't have to do my homework. Dinner time! All right, I'm starving. Here you go, kids. Coat loaf. Since Pork Belly ran out of food last week, tonight we're eating my leather coat. Enjoy. Coat loaf? 
Who would want to eat this? Can you pass the ketchup? I'm a growing boy. I need protein that's not from a coat. There's got to be something out there. Okay, I'm sorry for overblasting the snowstormer, but can't you fire something up in the air to stop it? We would, but the roof to the lab is frozen shut. And your little snowstorms have left all the pork belly without power. The only thing that could stop it would be a heat source strong enough to melt the snow. But what? Hmm. <laughs> well, if we can't go up to melt the snow, then maybe we can go down to the Earth Dozer! Finally! It is our time to invade the Earth! <laughs> And with our sunglasses that don't come off, and with pork belly under 20 feet of snow, nothing can stop us now! Nothing! <laughs> All right, we give up. You win once again, flaming-headed Earth boy. Yeah, whatever. Can you guys help us out? You want our help? We were thinking, since you control the Earth's underground, can you somehow release the heat from the Earth's center to melt all the snow in pork belly? We'll owe you one. Ha! What could you possibly have that we could want? He could help us with the plans. What? Then forget it. We will not help you take over our world. <laughs> take over you. <laughs> Oh, oh, take over you. That's funny. We have better things to do than take over your world. Then what do you want? Uh, uh, we just want to invade the surface to get some red gush for our fiesta. Deal. Soldiers, open the thermal tunnel. Hey, so where will all the snow go when it melts? Oh, that's a good question. Where will all the melted snow go? Oh, I know! It'll flow down the mole holes and... Uh-oh. Now I need a favor from you. Well, now that all the snow is finally melted away, people no longer have to eat coat loaf. And kids, you better get that homework done, because tomorrow it's back to school. Hey, let's stop! Can you keep it down? I've got homework to do. Well, we could, but this is my favorite song! Come on, it's a fiesta! Yeah! Well, should have seen this coming. Escaping Von Reimer and the General's forces, Marty and his friends fall prey to Orange Mama. Will she hand them over to Reimer for the reward money? Not yet. A kid with an atomic punch is just what the Orange Valley Grand Wrestling Championship needs for a spectacular finale. As Buttons and Allie plan their escape from the dungeon, Marty must prepare for battle. In the dressing room, Marty waits nervously for the event to begin unaware of who or what he'll be facing in the battle pit. Uh, uh, testing. One, two, three. Oh! <laughs> That's great. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for waiting. Can you feel the excitement in here tonight? It's time for the best brawlers in the Grand Desert to go head-to-head -head in the ultimate battle. Are you ready for a show? I can't hear you! Where's Jenny? The first battle is about to begin. She better not be snooping around the prisoners' quarters. You've got to keep an eye on that girl or she disappears. Uh, would you like me to go fetch her? Mm. No, she'll show up. Okay. It's nice for her to see kids her own age again after such a long time. Of course. I hope there's no trouble. Now, I see by the clock on the wall, it's time to ring the bell. Is everybody ready for the first match? All right, in this corner, he's known throughout the Grand Desert, the King of Kicks, the Feet of Fury, winner of all 
15 qualifying matches in the Southern Division. The most feared master of the hurricane attack. The one, the only, Pitbuster Sampak! Yeah! <laughs> and here... Oh, no! It's the boy that flattened an entire motorcycle gang all by himself! Believe it or not, here he is, the kid with the atomic punch, Marty! Huh? He's not there. Um, sir, <gasps> I don't know in a fight like this. Actually, I really don't want to be here. Look how small I am. I mean, maybe there's someone else you'd rather fight than me? What is this munchkin talking about? What maybe are you, you doing over off? here? Hey, Stay in your corner! Uh, wait! I, uh, uh, sir, please! Uh, I, I'm just a kid! Ow. Yes, it's the ultimate battle to decide the very best of the Grand Desert. And the first match is about to begin. In one corner, Sam Pack, winner of all his qualifying matches. He's a real crowd favorite. And his opponent's name is Marty, and he's got no qualifying records at all. <laughs> right, well, let's see how my partner sees this match turning out. It's ridiculous for a boy and an unproven wrestler to face a hurricane kickmaster like Sam Pack. It's like trying to stop a charging rhino with a fly swatter. This crowd should demand their money back. There's no battle here. Rumor has that this kid beat up a dozen motorcycle gang members with that huge glove of his. That could play a major factor. <laughs> yeah, I could take care of that little weenie with one sneeze. I can't believe they paired me up with a little kid. Uh, let's get this over with. Huh? Please, sir. You have to listen. I'm not a fighter. What? Orange Mama has my friends locked up. If I don't win this match, she'll do something terrible to all of us. Please, sir, let me win. Hey, hey, hey yeah. let go Can't of me. You just let me win, please. Wow, it looks like the kid is going on the attack. He's got the leg. Sam Pack's in trouble. <laughs> That's what you call a defensive strategy, you see. I think Sam Pack is trying to wear the kid out. You little leech. Let go. Sir, we can work this out. Let go, kid, before I get mad. Oh, please, sir. Uh, 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 no! Uh, Come on, Sampak! My grandma fights better than you! I can't believe it! Sampak is down! That kid Marty is showing no mercy! He may be small, but he's a tough one. Sampak may have finally met his match. Uh, sir, please, let me have this one win, please. Kid, get off me! Uh, surprise after another out there there's no telling what will happen next folks it's still anybody's match correct me if i'm wrong but isn't sam pack known for knocking out every opponent in under a minute i guess he's running a little late today seems the kid with the atomic punch is really getting the best of our champion there's still 10 seconds to go in the first minute and you can bet sam pack will take care of the kid real soon he's just waiting for an opening then it's all over i'm betting marty's best moves are still to come and this match is getting more exciting by the second give him a hurricane kick sam pack Sir, the Ace Squadron is down. Steeljaw Jack has escaped. Oh no. What should I do, sir? Contact the Ace Squadron and have them return to base now. But sir, how can they turn back when they're so close? You see that devastation there? Jack didn't do it. What? There. Corporal, zoom in on the object at four o'clock. 
Yes, sir. Enlarging image, stand by. You recognize that weapon, Kelly? You've seen it before, haven't you? Uh. <laughs> uh, I want to get out of here. I'm Open so bored. Door. I want to see huh? the puppy. Who's there? Oh, he's so cute. Huh? So you open this door now! Young lady, please! I was instructed not to let anyone in! Especially you! I said open the door! I'll start crying! Open it now! Do as I say! I wanna see the puppy! <laughs> the puppy! puppy Young lady, puppy, you're puppy, frazzling puppy, my circuits! Puppy. Uh, this is too much! No. You open that door right now! I want to see that puppy! All right, I'll do it. But promise you won't tell Orange Mama. Please. Okay. <laughs> Allie, wake up! <gasps> the puppy. Nothing but a stupid old bone. You think I'm an ordinary dog? You've got some nerve. Hey! You don't like the bone I brought you? You're a bad puppy. Bad puppy. Huh? It's okay. Hello? Do you want to play with us? I don't want to play with her! <laughs> this is so humiliating. I'm really sorry I knocked you over. Kid, don't forget, if you're no use to us in the ring, we can always turn you and your friends in for that reward money. So if I were you, I'd start putting on a show. Uh, a show? Uh, okay. Uh, is that supposed to be an attack? How could they even let the kid get in the ring? Look at him. He doesn't even know the basics. He's nothing but an amateur. <sighs> And Sam Pack has gone down again! The kid's unexpected atomic counterpunch has sent the champion to the mat! Ooh! Ah, you gotta be kidding me! It looks like Sam Pack slipped. Look, he's already getting back up and he's ready to mop the floor with that kid. Sam Pack is not the kind of wrestler to take an insult lying down. His next attack is sure to be the most intense one yet! <laughs> that little brat is making me look bad. I can't let him distract me anymore! <sighs> I didn't want to use my kicks before because I took pity on the pipsqueak. Not anymore. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, look out! Sam Pack is getting into his Muay Thai position! Of course! He's had enough of the kid's games, and now he means business! That's kind of a weird pose. <laughs> kid, get up! Whoa, that was some kick. There's no way I can keep dodging him. He's fast. If George were here, what would he say? Marty, shorten the distance. Get inside his guard. I can't get near him. Uh. What? You mean, this is some kind of battle arena? Ali, be careful what you say to her. She's wearing orange just like that orange hag lady. And you know what? My grandma runs this whole place. And if people don't listen to her, they get locked up and punished just like you. She's tough and everyone's really, really afraid of her. Except for me. So do you mean there are other prisoners in here too? Mm-hmm. There's a much bigger room underground. I saw someone stuck to the ceiling there. He was just a kid. No! Oh, oh no! Marty! Excuse me, your puppy. Can I hold him? Sure. Yes! Save me, Ellie! This 
This is boring. The kid can't even hit back. Forget watching this round. Sorry, folks. Why don't you go make yourself a sandwich or go have a little snooze? Oh, Sam Pack's doing a middle kick and high kick combination. Marty's being pushed into a corner. That's a dangerous place if he gets stuck there. <laughs> That's it. Right there, that's his weak spot. Okay, let's try that again. This kid's not too bright. He's gonna try the same useless attack. Yowza! How do you like that? The kid makes another surprise attack. He's using his opponent's power to spring himself forward. And Sampak took quite a hit. It looks like he's really hurting out there, too. What do you have to say? Hey, yes, that did look a little painful. Ah, uh, what I mean is, if it were any other wrestler out there, it could have ended this battle. But this is Sampak, a seasoned wrestler in great shape. Oh, but look now! Sampak is getting up, and I'd say he wants his revenge. Come on. You sneak. So your little I'm weak and afraid routine was all just an act. Well, I'm done playing around. I came here to battle, and that's what I intend to do. You think you're tough? Well, I wrote the book on being tough. Ali, <laughs> aren't you gonna do something? How is this supposed to help us get out of here? She's gonna ruin my beautiful metal body! That kid in the underground room? Did he have brown eyes and short hair? I bet he was a little older than you. Maybe my age and about as tall as me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I bet he had on a yellow shirt and blue pants, and on his arm he was wearing a big robotic fist. Am I right? Mm -hmm. That's him. Stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Marty. Oh, and he's not underground. He's in the battle pit. <gasps> you mean they put Marty in the competition? Yeah, maybe. That's what my grandma told me. She might have been teasing me. I've never seen a kid battle those big, strong robots before. They'd smash him up. <gasps> What's that thing right there? It's so shiny and pretty. Uh, like it? <sighs> Would you like to try it on? Ouch! Another low kick! Sam Pack isn't called the master of hurricane kicks for nothing. There's no way out for the kid now. He's done for. It's almost like he's up against a real force of nature down there. Ouch, <laughs> believe me? Well, I'll give him something to boo about. Oh, no! <laughs> he wouldn't dare! Sandpack is getting set to do the hammer knee slam! Bring the car around. This battle will soon be won for the history books, folks. Say goodnight, kid. It's all over. <laughs> Keeps up will be one big bruise. Hey, kid, had enough yet? <laughs> hmm. huh? A straight line of attack will get you there faster. Yeah, and his attack is circular. All right, I got it. <laughs> Are you ready, kid? You still think you got what it takes? Huh? Marty attempts a punch even as he takes the low kick, and he's coming back for more. Uh, just a little faster. No way. Stay down, punk. Right? Yeah. Um, Jenny.
Jenny, I'll make you a deal. You can keep my brooch if you let us talk to your grandma. <gasps> I forgot. I was supposed to watch the battles with her this afternoon. <laughs> I hope I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Jenny, come back. Hey, wait. Don't leave without us. <laughs> Marty, please stay safe. <laughs> After that flurry of attacks, both fighters are down on the canvas. The kid landed a powerful punch, but took the full force of Sampak's kick. Yes, a truly amazing battle, don't you think, partner? I've never seen anything like it. Uh, well, what I mean, uh, that I, uh, er, uh, well, I... I don't believe it! Sampak is trying to get up! The fight goes on! <laughs> gonna do you're good that you are indeed a worthy opponent but now it's time to settle this once and for all <laughs> whoa look out here comes sandpack's most powerful move the hurricane kick finally we get to see the move that badly injured five of sandpack's opponents in the qualifying rounds they couldn't stand up to the awesome power of the mighty hurricane kick I wouldn't want to be that kid right now. He'll be carried out of here on a stretcher if he makes it through this one. That was close. He nearly got me. And here he comes again. Okay, this time I'll be red. I'll keep my guard up and look for an opening. Wow, the kid is finished. And he was doing so well, too. What a shame he was a real crowd favorite who came back from the hurricane kick and everything. Well, what did I tell you? It was obvious who was going to win this battle. Come on, you didn't actually think a little kid like that had a chance against Sandpack, did ya? Can't let it end like this. What's this kid made of? He actually got up after taking my hurricane kick. That does it. I'll make sure he stays down permanently. Uh, uh, Ali. All right, kiddo. This battle ends here and now. Ah, uh, hold on now. Sam Pack can't do that. That move is illegal. Hmm. It's been nice knowing you, punk. All right, you asked for it. find on that weapon I did a thorough review of all the defense ministry's classified data that axe is believed to be the same one used by one of the general's subordinates a robot named scar it's at least a hundred years old sir <sighs> just as I feared 
There's something else, sir. We found a sword near the Iron Tower. We also believe this may belong to another of the General's subordinates as well. I don't believe it. That's Black Beauty's sword. It can't be. <laughs> This must be the place.